Okay, so today I'm going to do a short pH test because everyone claims, or at least I've gotten several comments claiming that um, Lika or Hydrotin, which is what I use, changes the pH of water. And so, and it, or actually not changes the pH, but raises the pH of water. And that has not been my experience. So I am going to use pH paper, which is right here, um, and test both water from a new pot, um, a semi-hydro pot with a cattleya in it, and an old pot, which is all grungy, right? So this water's been sitting down in there. I'm gonna pour it out into these teacups, and then I'm going to, as the instructions say, dip my indicator strip into it until uh, there is no further color change, and then I'm going to match it with the color profile on this box. So these strips go from pH 5 to pH 10, pH 7 is neutral, 5 is acidic, and 10 is basic or alkaline. So here is the colors for the back side of this. And um, several people have mentioned to me that treating catalayas with tea is really good, so I also have some tea. I drink a lot of tea, it's usually loose leaf, not in a tea bag. Uh, this tea is actually called Ruby Tuesday. I've already drunk it, so this is just the extra over soak right here, and I will test it as well today to see what its pH actually is, because supposedly tea is, suppo is gonna reduce the pH of uh, water, and actually I do agree with that because um, tea should be acidic. I do use it for my uh, uh, like rhododendrons and um, gardenias and stuff which need to have slightly more acidic soil. So let's see, first of all, we're gonna see what the pH of water is. So I have a little teacup. We're gonna go take water from the tap. This is the tap that I use right here. Fill it. You guys saw me fill it. Pull them back out. All right, so here is my water. I'm going to pour out the remaining. It doesn't need a lot. Reservoir water it's getting all over the It's good this is the metal step ladder. Okay. So here we go. Actually I guess I don't even need to pour out the tea into its little cup to the bowl already. So now I'm gonna take pH paper right here and I'm going to dip it in each of the containers. So here's the tea. Stay. Here's my water. Here is my old uh, Hydrogen water and here, well actually that's my new hydrogen and here is my old hydrogen. Okay, so you have to wait for the color change to be complete before you can check it. So let me close my container so that give it several minutes to finish its color change. Okay, so here is my tea. So we'll match it up here. I can't do this two-handed. So it looks to be about pH 5.5. And here is my regular water. And it looks to be I want to say about pH 6 coming out of the tap, having sat in the indicator, or pH 6.5, somewhere between the two. Probably 6. 
So here is my new stuff. Between six, 6.5, and actually, if you look at the two indicator strips together, so this is the water from the Lika, this is the water, um, tap water, the two strips look exactly the same. So stuff that has been exposed to hydrogen Lika has not been at all different. And here is my old Lika, my old hydrogen right here. Hold it down to the indicator also between 6 and 6.5 and again when I take out the water one they look almost exactly the same so basically have a nice positive control here where I have my T right my T has a pH of about 5.5 not surprising should be acidic but my water is about, like we said, 6, 6.5, somewhere between there from that um, faucet and um, water coming out of my pots. Just got a Cattleya, all right? Each of them have a Cattleya in them. Um, have exactly the same pH. So basically, exposure to hydrogen, to Lika, has not changed the pH of my water whatsoever. And if you're wondering how long the water was in here before I did this video, I basically watered these and then I let them sit there about an hour and a half um, while I took my kids to school and then I came and filmed this video. So they had been exposed for a while and there is no change in the pH.